This video was brought to you by Patreon. Help support future ES repair videos by becoming a patron for as little as $1 per month. As a premium member, you'll get the latest news, special offers, questions and answers, recognition and videos, early access to new videos, channel recognition, behind the scenes, and more. Show your support by joining ES Repair on Patreon today. Hello, I am your host, Mr. Fixit from ES Repair. You may be wondering what is the Windows System File Checker and the Deployment Image Servicing and Management. Well, they are tools that are used to repair issues with the Windows Operating System. If some of Windows functions are not working or if the operating system keeps crashing, these tools can help resolve the problems. This was often a result of data corruption or Windows files being overwritten. To combat this problem, Microsoft introduced System File Checker in Windows 98 to allow the user to scan the system files for any problems. If a problem was found, it could restore the files from the Windows installation media or a file path that would contain a copy of the original system of files. However, this version did not provide any real-time system protection beyond file attributes. Microsoft introduced System File Protection in Windows Me to provide real-time protection of system files. If System File Protection detected a problem file, it would silently restore the file from a backup copy. If the backup copy of the file cannot be found, then it would prompt the user to insert the Windows installation disk or the file path of the backup copy. It was renamed to Windows File Protection and was integrated with System File Checker with the release of Windows XP. Any program other than the package installer or Windows installer attempts to change a system file would prompt Windows File Protection to silently restore the system file. Microsoft replaced Windows File Protection with Windows Resource Protection in Windows Vista that added protection to Windows registry keys as well as the system files. It uses discretionary access control list and access control list to only allow system modifications from the Windows Modules Installer service. Microsoft introduced the Deployment Image Servicing and Management in Windows 7 that can perform servicing tasks on Windows whether it is online or access an offline image with a within a folder like Windows Imaging Format. It can repair windows, update windows, features, packages, drivers, etc. The DISM can also use Windows Update to download files needed to repair windows. However, if Windows Update is corrupted, you must use a Windows installation disk, a recovery drive, or the file path that contains the backup copy of Windows system files. And Microsoft Deployment Image Servicing and Management is currently being used with Windows 8 and Windows 10. Now let me show you an example of how these two programs are used. Now in order to use the System File Checker, you must be able to run the command prompt as an administrator. Now to do this, I'm going to show you, all you need to do is right click the background of your desktop. You'll see this menu pop up. What you'll do is you'll choose New and then go to Shortcut. When this box appears, you'll type in the following um, command, which is cmd.exe, and then Next. This is going to be called the Command Prompt. And then choose Finish. Now, as you can see, the icon is now created. Now, the next thing you need to do is in order for the system file checker and the deployment image servicing and management to work, you'll need to run the command prompt as an administrator. To do that, you'll right click on the icon again, 
And then you'll see this option right here that says run as administrator. You click it, you'll get a confirmation. So you do want it to allow it to make changes. And then you'll see the command prompt window pop up. Now to use a system file checker is pretty simple. You just type in sfc.exe. You don't always have to use the exe. Uh, if you want to, you can, um, but you don't have to. You can just simply type F sfc space forward slash scan now as one word and then press enter. Now as the program begins, it runs through the entire system phase, checks all the files, and if it finds any problems, it will automatically uh, repair them uh, from the backup. Now this can take some time. So once system file checker has been completed, you will see the following message. It's going to say the verification is 100% complete and that Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. This is a message that you should always see. Now, if there was a problem, then it would try to recover the problem from a backup copy and repair it. Now, if it couldn't repair it, it will let you know. Or it's going to ask you to, in to insert the Windows installation disk or a recovery drive or a file path that contains the backup copy that it needs. Now it's going to take about 20 minutes, uh, maybe an hour, depends on your computer. So just be patient, let it run. Now to use the deployment image servicing and management tool, you will need to type in the following command. That's DISM slash online slash cleanup dash image slash restore health and then press enter you're going to come to this screen and it's going to take another 20 minutes to an hour for it to complete this task now once the task completes you'll see a message similar to this that will let you know that the deployment image servicing and management tool did not find any problems and if it did it will also show you uh, that it was able to successfully complete the repairs or if it didn't. Now, this is one of the best ways that you can determine um, and getting your Windows operating system repaired in the event that you have some problems with some of the functions not working or if your uh, operating system is freezing up or crashing. Now, you may have to get your computer into safe mode, which I do have videos that show you how to get your computers into safe mode. Uh, but you want to make sure that you do run the command prompt as an administrator. And this way the computer or the program can make changes necessary to fix your Windows operating system. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know. Uh, we will uh, continue. I do have another video I want to do. Uh, the next video I'm going to be putting up is going to show you how to create a recovery drive. So in the event that your computer crashes and cannot run, then you'll be able to use a recovery drive to boot up your computer. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching. This video was brought to you by Patreon. Help support future ES repair videos by becoming a patron for as little as $1 per month. As a premium member, you'll get the latest news, special offers, questions and answers, recognition and videos, early access to new videos, channel recognition, behind the scenes, and more. Show your support by joining ES Repair on Patreon today.